Welcome back. We're here looking at the NG market. It is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 15, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at the Patreon. The link is down below. So let's look at the WTI oil first. And as you can see, we continue to rally after we basically broke out of this triangle. We can write it up here. Yes, we have it right there. So we broke out and at this current stage, we're trading at $106 per barrel. We did rally all the way up to 107.68 and gave most of those gains back. But it is a fairly a bullish move to the upside. If we manage to take out the discounts here, which is $108 per barrel, then we may go to 116 and then all the way up towards 120. And after that, this becomes extremely bullish. If you look at the MACD, it's about to cross the signal line, indicating bullish momentum, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If we uh, break down from here, then we'll most likely find support at the 50 moving average. If you look at natural gas, we can see that this just continues to defy gravity. It's getting hilarious at this current stage. Um, yeah, if we just look, for example, at the RSI, it's at 83 at this current stage, and it is, it is significantly overbought at this point. It's also significantly overstretched. We're way past the Bollinger Band, so pullback should be expected but at this current rate it just is defying gravity every single time it just pulls back a little bit you expect it to fall it just turns around and uh, takes your head off so we're trading at at uh, 7.329 dollars at this current stage and it's just a ticking time bomb um, we may go higher there is a precedent for this market to go significantly higher if we look for example at the weekly chart if we go all the way back towards um, 2008 this was up at $13 if you go back towards uh, to 2016 this was $15 uh, but at this point we are basically testing uh, the highs here of roughly we have were here uh, in 2000 uh, yeah uh, air only a few uh, months ago but yes we could go higher i just don't see if you just look at the weekly chart, weekly chart how this can go higher without just completely collapsing you can see all the examples where this has rallied significantly outside of the bullish band it just snaps and that's kind of what i expect this to happen we just seen not seen it yet we just need some kind of news which is a bearish for this market for basically it to tumble when it gets this out of hand so if we look at the, the daily chart yet again we can see the macd is still very bullish the rsi is the stochastic is also very bullish and the rsi is also bullish and it hasn't been at this level for a really really long time we had basically saw it here we also saw it here and every single time we get to these levels also right here uh, just underneath 70 or something it tends to fall apart and if it doesn't happen tomorrow then sometimes next week this uh, will not uh, continue at this pace there will most likely be a pullback towards the previous highs here which is roughly 6.2 that's probably where we'll bounce and then it will get enough uh, uh, RSI, RSI will become low enough for this to continue to going higher so it may go higher uh, but uh, at this current stage uh, it's getting way 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 out of hand so hope you find this helpful you will support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much